I think that every single human being on this planet is creative. It's just that they haven't been invited to be creative. Even if they are not actively pursuing it, they want to be in the environment of ideas that are bubbling, ideas that are irreverent, and that's the power of art. We did an enormous amount of study on the SE1 area and realized that this is a real originating point for creativity in London, from Shakespeare Theatre all the way to the Tate, to everything in the middle. I thought that we should provide an art school ambiance. We have collaborated with a lot of artists, with a lot of makers. Art school, I think, is mostly about just having fun, to explore with different material. Thinking about things that actually is not possible. Like even, we, we had no idea of what's the limit of this, this material. We collected a lot of pieces that are either highly refined or not refined at all and they can live in the same space. With our artists in residence program, it just fits right in that all of this is now activated. I think it's very difficult. We, we all get so caught up in the everyday life, we kind of forget the good bits, the culture. And I think art, it gives us a window to kind of escape our everyday lives to some extent, but also kind of explore what it means to be a person in the city or, you know, in, in living in these times. As an artist in residence, uh, it will give me the opportunity to have a slightly larger space to work in, because I think that gives you space to think particularly. But also by putting yourself in a different environment, I think it, ma it makes you work in, in a very different way. I think interacting with other people and the members of the public and talking about what I'm doing could also influence the way in which I, I think about making work. So it's really difficult to get opportunities as an artist in London, so something like this I think is, is brilliant. As co-founder of Contemporary Collective, which is a gallery that represents emerging artists who are on the next step in their careers, we are looking to take a carefully curated collection of these artists over to Bankside to be able to work in and amongst guests, with residents interacting with the progress and allowing all of us to see their work from when they have the inception of the idea right through to the finished product. Helen Gorrell has produced three bespoke commissioned artworks for Bankside. And Helen's work is generally collage based and what she does is she reappropriates images. She makes us look at them in a different way. Quite often she'll take images that before would have been about us, the viewer, looking at the person, the sitter, but she'll turn that around and make the sitter look at us and ask question what's actually going on. We started the company in 2012 and really what we wanted to do was to create an effective platform for makers in the British Isles to really showcase and celebrate their work. We have worked with Laura Carlin since the inception of the business and she is a very talented illustrator. That was her initial craft. And then lastly she's moved on to ceramics so she's found a 3D expression for that creative talent that she has. We chose to work with her as a very compelling storyteller that we might be able to bring to life the narratives of Bankside, of London, and really insert that into the fabric of the hotel. The value of these individual pieces, it's that none of them are the same. The way we make them, there's a lot of interaction. There's some sort of like communication in terms of how we make them. I think the, the process gives the design, but also uniqueness. Bankside is probably the the best commission we ever had. I think it's just really enjoyable to see somebody have given us something really open and just to see what we can do and how this, the ceramic language can be fit in a certain place. These pieces are our own experience. It's our language, but uh, fused with Bankside at the same time in a very, uh, I would say, harmonious way. I think it would be really great if Londoners, locals and guests all came here and shared ideas and then maybe one day they can realize their own piece, that they walk out with an idea that's realized.